To understand context in which an informative speech can be delivered, let me share a couple of scenarios. The first one, I think we should pick up something that all of you will be able to relate to, which is of that of uh, delivering a thesis research report in front of a crowd which includes the faculty members and fellow students. So let's imagine the topic on which you'll be delivering a speech is game theory. So the way you would actually present this entire thing, which would have four different elements, which we will talk about in detail, but quickly if I have to uh, share with you, one is the attention getter, two, about the topic, explanation and in detail understanding, three, what is it in with uh, what is it in for the audience and finally why are you intending to share this with the audience who's sitting right in front of you so in game theory just in case uh, uh, you're not aware of what game theory is game theory is a fantastic mathematical model which was uh, 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 given by a professor Harvard professor called as John Nash if you remember, there's also a movie around game theory, and I would leave it for you to actually comment back on what the movie's name is. And the intent of game theory, or the entire objective around game theory, is to understand the Nash's equilibrium and how this concept can be used in strategic and rational decision-making processes. Game theory has actually played an in, uh, a fantastic role in various economic models of developmental countries. And which is why we've taken this topic as something that people would love to talk about and convince people that this is a nice topic one can do a mini research on. Another scenario that I could share would be from my school. If you remember, we had these mathematics teachers who would actually pick up a specific math concept for the day and then start delivering the same. They would not only explain the concept but also allow us to implement or apply the formula in the problems that we might have and also share where these uh, uh, formulas or logic can be used. So one of the concepts that I could think of would be Pythagoras theorem. If you remember, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square, which is nothing but the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. I'm sure a couple of ma non-math students must be cursing me of having picked up a math concept, but uh, the intent was to share how people use informative speech style in various contexts and I'm hoping that you would understand a teacher uh, uh, delivering a specific concept in the class can be one perfect example as thought. I'm guessing that this exam you will be able to connect to this example very easily because this is to do with the school college system and something that we would have passed by in the last few years. The third scenario could be that of creating awareness amongst public about an epidemic that exists in this world. Let me take, for example, swine flu, H1N1. When we are supposed to talk to a set of people, there are four elements in an informative speech that we need to handle. And in this case, it would be the purpose of we delivering the informative speech. What about the informative speech, the actual content? Three, why are you delivering that informative speech? And four, a proper closure which may or may not ask for a point of action. So in this, we would actually talk about H1N1, how it is being caused, what are the sources of H1N1, how is this impacting human health, and how is this epidemic, at what rate it is spreading across the world. Having said that, then we can get into an angle where why am I sharing this with all of you here? And what is it in for you to hear me out and take necessary actions? So an informative speech can actually be uh, essentially download of information which can be useful for the people who are sitting right in front of us. It has to be relevant, it has to be precise.